I entered the draft intending on staying in the draft 100%. After NIO came out, my mentor, my um, coaches started mentioning to me that, yo, you can make money in college while coming back. So I started thinking about it hard. After I ultimately made the decision to come back to college, I just decided that I'm going to put my name in the transfer portal just so that I made the best decision coming back to college, you know? When it came to the NBA stuff, we left him alone. That's been my philosophy. Now, when Kofi went in and went into the transfer portal, yeah, then there were more conversations. But at the end of the day, when he made his decision to come back, we're obviously ecstatic. To him, it was about a legacy. Most people don't understand what that is. At 20, 21 years old, Kofi does. And uh, was an All-American as a sophomore. Understands that his jersey's gonna hang in the rafters here. He's one of the dominant players in college basketball and that he can continue to grow that legacy. Hawkins for three. Cobra, the follow. Oh my God! Oh, wow. He's always loud. He brings such high level energy. Coburn climbing the back, and he absolutely annihilates the rim. His presence on the court is dominant. I truly believe he's the best big man in the country by far. I feel Kofi is the best player in the nation right now. Well, you're talking about the best player in the country. Do you think you're the best player in the nation, Kofi? Absolutely. There's no doubt that, that, that in my mind, you know? And when I have a good team like I have right now, we got guys like Palmer that helps me a lot, whether people see it or not, like with his shooting. Guys can't really double as hard as they used to. That makes my job much easier. It opens up the floor for everyone. When he's clicking, teams start to load in on him. That opens up opportunities for all the shooters on the outside. And he's grown in that area of um, passing, you know, kicking it out, looking for his open shooters. Here's Coburn once more. In the corner, found the open man, and Kofi gets the assist. Whenever I go on the court, I just have a different confidence, you know, where nothing bothers me. I, I'm, I'm always level-headed. I know that, you know, whatever needs to be done, I'll get it done. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm trying to break all the records I possibly can at Illinois. And I speak to him and I'm so hungry. Whenever I can, I try to go out and I play my best, obviously. I don't think about it at the time, but at the end of the day, the number's gonna say it and the work is gonna pay off. I got two guys that I cut when I'm here. It's pretty much a taper, like fixing the edges, fixing the liner. I don't really do too much with my hair. Yeah, yep, same way. <laughs> you come to Champagne, right? And it's like basketball is royalty here. People love basketball, they come out to support. It's just a different bond when you get to college, it's like a different level because it's more maturity. It's like actual love when you're around somebody for so long. So those are definitely like the two things that I think that really like that kept me here. I grew up in Jamaica and like a totally different lifestyle, you know. I could be out whatever time it is, you know, just playing around with my friends, messing around. I feel like when you move to it, like US, it's a whole different theme, you know? I had friends growing up that started drinking and smoking at 11, 12, you know what I'm saying? It's just different culture. Growing up, looking at my brother, like, he never did any of those stuff. He kept himself out of trouble. He was always, like, on the right path. He went to college, you know what I'm saying? He was one of the only person in my neighborhood to do that. He helped me, like, making sure that I'm always Staying out of trouble, making sure I'm not drinking, making sure I'm not like keeping bad company, you know what I'm saying? I guess that's the reason why I looked up to him so much. And I was believing everything that he told me. Whenever I would get out of hand, I would stay out too late, I would do something that I'm not supposed to be doing. He would get me in shape, he would beat me up sometimes. He would like sit down and have four hour conversations with me. Like asking me about my future, what do I want to become in the future and stuff like that. I never wanted to get myself in trouble because I hate sitting out for four hours listening to, the, listening to this dude, you get what I'm saying? He told me like the other day, bro, he was like, yo, bro, if you really think about it, bro, you've made it, bro. Coming from where I come from, like, nobody does the things that I did and gets the opportunity that I got. For me to be here in this position where I'm, I'm able to get to the next level, I mean, it's incredible, man, I, like, I love it, you know, I, I embrace it. I'm trying to get better every day. I'm pushing myself to class limits, you know what I'm saying? So, like, getting to the NBA is fun, fun and all, but, like, I'm not, I don't really, like, let it stress me out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I try to live for the moment, I try to have fun and try to embrace it every moment. I do. Woo! Put me in, coach. Put me in the game. 
think I got my swagger back. I should have had one of y'all cut my hair. That would have been funny. Oh, <laughs>